Okay, grade two, <clears throat> we are here to talk about reptiles. We learned about mammals. <coughs> we know that mammals are warm-blooded. We know mammals give birth to live babies. We know that um, mammals have fur or hair on the outer covering. Um, we know, what else do we know about mammals? That the babies drink from the mommy. Okay. So we learned about mammals. This week we are learning about reptiles. Now I'm going to read this with you and then we are going to answer some questions. If you have the worksheets printed out, that's fine. Then you have this one in front of you and you have this one in front of you. You write your name on that one and on the back of this one. If you don't, not a problem, then you have your workbook ready and we will answer the questions in the workbook but we are going to get to that part let's first read this together now it says reptiles reptiles are a kind of animal reptiles usually live in warm places but some live in the water snakes turtles lizards iguanas and alligators are some common reptiles reptiles are vertebrates so they have backbones remember mammals also have backbones reptiles have scales some also have shells most reptiles lay eggs a few kinds of snakes and lizards have live young that don't come from eggs like we talked about in ma with mammals there's always an exception okay so there are some of them that don't lay eggs um, most reptiles are meat eaters that means they are carn Bores. A few kinds of lizards and tortoises are plant eaters, and a plant eater we call a herbivore. I don't know if you guys learned that in grade one or if we even talked about it this year, but okay. If an animal only eats meat, it's called a carnivore. If an animal only eats plants, it's called a herbivore. And if um, there is an animal that eats both meat and plants, like humans do, it's called an omnivore. Okay. Reptiles are cold-blooded. They like the sun because it keeps them warm. If they get too cold, they could die. Some reptiles just hibernate and go to sleep when it is cold. They wake up when it gets warm again. That's what it means with cold-blooded. Um, I touched on this when we did the phonics. Oh, the spelling. Cold-blooded means that these animals cannot, like mammals, we sweat or we shiver to change our temperature. These animals cannot do that. Reptiles cannot sweat and they cannot shiver to change their temperature. They take on the temperature of what it is in their surrounding. So if their house is cold, then they are cold. If their house is warm, then they are warm. Okay, so let's take a look at page two. If you have your worksheet, you are going to fill it in on the worksheet itself. You are going to write your name. And you are going to fill it in on the worksheet. If you do not, here's your workbook. And this is what we do. We write, what's the date? 9, 9 June. Today is 9 June. 2020 um, and I'm just going to write here all you have to write is s 2 that way I know that it's the s 2 paper that you are answering then I make my cross draw my minky monkey and I write number one now it asks us Number one, mm, reptiles are meat eaters. Now, is the answer no reptiles are meat eaters? Some reptiles are meat eaters. Most reptiles are meat eaters. Or all reptiles are meat eaters. Now, to get the answer, we go back to one and we read it through. Reptiles are a kind of animals. Reptiles usually live in warm places. Snakes, blah, blah, blah. Reptiles are vertebrates. Reptiles have scales. Some have shells. Most reptiles lay eggs. 
A few don't come from eggs. Most reptiles are meat eaters. So the word we are looking for is most. Most is number curly k. So either when if you have the worksheet, you color mm, color curly k, or if you don't in your book, you just write curly k. Then we are moving on to number two. Which of these is a reptile? Is a rabbit a reptile? Is a ladybug a reptile? Is a snake a reptile? Or is an owl a reptile? You can go back to your reading passage. Read it through. If you don't have the paper in front of you, pause so that you can find the answer. Good. Then the answer is, I'll do this one with you still, curly cur. So if you have the worksheet, you color it on curly cur. If you do not, then in your book next to two, you write curly cur. Then we are getting ready for number three. What kind of body covering do reptiles have? Do reptiles have feathers? Do they have slime? Do they have scales? Or do they have fur? Go back to your reading passage. Pause if you do not have it in front of you so that you can find the answer. Good. Then you either um, color a, b, colica, or de whichever one you think and you write that answer here next to three the the letter for the right one either a b curlica or de you write in your book then number four definition that means the meaning of the word when animals go to sleep for a long time what do we call that do we call it nap do we call it doze do we call it hibernate or do we call it dream when animals go to sleep for a long time? If you don't have the paper in front of you, pause it now so that you can find the answer. Good. Then you either color a, b, curlica, or de, and in your workbook. At number four, you write a, b, curlica, or de, depending on which is the right answer from the reading passage. Last question, number five. Reptiles are warm-blooded. If it's true, color a. If it's false, color b. And then you either write a or b next to number five. Once you are finished, draw your line. And that was our science activity. Now, I'm going to read the passage for you one more time so that we can truly remember all of the things that we learned about reptiles. Reptiles are a kind of animal. Reptiles usually live in warm places, but some live in the water. So not all reptiles live in warm places. Snakes. Turtles, lizards, iguanas, and alligators are some common reptiles. Think about these animals. A snake, a turtle, a lizard, an iguana. They all have scales. Okay. Tomorrow, maybe, I will try to take a photo or something, or maybe a short video, where I show my tortoises. And you can see, because my tortoises are reptiles, they have scales on their outer covering. Okay. Okay. Um, they don't have fur, they don't have um, feathers, they have scales. And I will show you what that looks like. They are just sleeping right now. Um, reptiles are vertebrates. Vertebrate, we learned, means that uh, that animal has a backbone. So, so far we've learned about mammals and reptiles, and both of those types of animals have backbones. Reptiles have scales, some also have shells, like mine. <laughs> Most reptiles lay eggs. They do say most, which means not all of them. Do you remember the platypus also lays eggs, I think? 
um, which is uncommon for mammals actually because mammals all give live birth, but platypuses, platypi, platy, I don't know, they don't. <clears throat> Um, most reptiles are meat eaters. That is not a rule. Please don't say that all reptiles are meat eaters. That's not true. Mine definitely don't eat meat. A few kinds of lizards and tortoises are plant eaters. There we go. Reptiles are cold-blooded. We talked about that. That means that they cannot shiver or sweat to um, cool down or to heat up. They take the temperature of their environment. Some reptiles just hibernate and go to sleep when it is cold. Okay, normally, um, if I can tell you my tortoises, uh, if it's a really cold day, like wallfish bay can get those really cold misty days, um, then they are normally only in their little house. They don't come out at all, they just sleep, they don't even come out for food, to be honest with you, because they are hibernating, even if it's just for a very tiny while. Um, they cannot handle the cold, but when it is nice and warm and there's sun shining on my grass, uh, I hope they do that tomorrow. Maybe I can then send you a video of them doing it. I call it sunbathing. My tortoises like to stick out their legs at the front and the back and their heads and they tilt it up to the sun and they lie and they bathe in the sun so that their bodies can heat up. Okay, um, that's reptiles. Tomorrow I will, f or I will find a nice video. Oh, not tomorrow. It's still today because you're doing Monday and Tuesday today. Okay, so I'm going to find a nice video and then for the Tuesday part, you can watch that video about reptiles.